My cousin brought me to a punk show and I just liked the, the whole vibe of it and just how everyone danced and people just wore what they want, no one gave a shit and then I got into hardcore and kind of drew from the punk scene and just stayed in the hardcore scene and made friends more that more than friends, family and I stuck in it, stuck with it ever since and I met my best friend out of it, you know, it's the best thing I got out of it, I will say and uh, it keeps me strong, I love it. For me, um, I was like 17, my boyfriend, he popped a, I think it was probably a tape in, and it was Blood for Blood, and I was like, yo, who the fuck is this? This is awesome, I never heard anything like it. And um, it was uh, the song Ain't Like You from Outlaw Anthems, and I was like, oh my god, I wanna see these guys, like where do you go? And he was like, oh no, you're not going to a show, you'll get hit. I was like, sounds great, let's go, like what do you mean? Um, <laughs> But uh, I was like, I just totally wanted to go, but it was a bad relationship. I didn't get to go until we broke up. And um, I went to my first show and I just fell in love. Like the music just like hit me inside my soul and I couldn't help but not, I could not help myself but dance. I just, I couldn't help it. And uh, I just like got really passionate about again. it. Yeah, I just couldn't help it. And I knew people didn't like it, but I just couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to care because I just, I just really, I had to do what like, what moved me you know the music really like it really changed my life um and after just going for the music for a while because that's all it was for a while was just going for the music you know i loved it i would travel like you know all over by myself and then i met her um you know i started to make friends in the scene and that was really cool and like some people liked me some people didn't um that was cool i didn't care like i was really there for the music and then it started to becoming about the music and the people and building like friendships and um, it became like a lifestyle and um, I don't know it was all about the music at first and then it became about the people and the music so uh, strength for a reason you know they're really yeah, good strength definitely I love punishment I was all about that on Bad Luck 13 I like the more of the violent like just craziness don't know what's gonna happen Shatter Rome <coughs> um, I don't know Blacklist Dysphoria was definitely Todd love them yeah. Run, run, run. <laughs> But yeah, I really loved Shattered Realm at first because I just loved like tough guy beat down. I just love that feeling of like wanting to hurt somebody. <laughs> so you two kind of made an impact around a certain time because you two were uh, dancing and the girl. Mosh twins. Yeah, you had to kind of had your own little look and everything. And it's funny because we we don't we ever, ever think we about knew that. each other. People yeah. would come up to me and they'd be like. Hey, what's up, Carissa? I'm like, no, I'm Crystal. Never knew who she was. We met at Metro in Wilkes-Barre at a show. Had the same hairstyle, rocked the bandana with the pigtails. And I was like, oh my god, are you Carissa? And she's like, are you Crystal? And then we gave each other phone numbers. I gave her the wrong number, apparently, because I thought she was hitting on me. It was a fax me. machine. <laughs> I thought you were hitting on me. And I was like, a fax machine? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, it was a fax machine. And then uh, we met up at a show, another show, and we just, she picked me up all the time for shows because I didn't have a car. and. Our friendship began in 2004. Was it 2004? No, yeah. before that. No, I think it was 2004 or three. Three. And then we just well, been, became friends. And you know, we danced. We did, you know, everything together. And we didn't take shit from nobody. And we know people didn't like it, but it just made us stronger. And it made me want to go out there more and tell people it'd be like, just because I'm a chick doesn't mean I can't hang out with dudes. Punch me. I'm not gonna cry. I'll just take it and you know, keep doing what I'm doing. You know. It doesn't kill us, makes us stronger, and the scenes definitely made me strong, I will say that. I, yeah, I think we just both were like the same kind of people. We both were kind of oblivious to what other people thought of, at least I was, I, I think was, you were so. too. Which, good thing, because you know, we just did what we wanted to do, you know? I was young, um, I didn't care what other people thought, <laughs> I didn't really think about it. Um, because I like the music, yeah, it, it both moves music, us, yeah. you know, like, and I just get in that zone, I still get like that, and I just, I just can't help but, you know, move, and it was more important to be able to, like, dance at a show and be comfortable after a while than to look cute, so we had yeah. to wear mesh, like, you <laughs> know, shorts and tank tops, and it would be nice, out. it would be nice to look <laughs> cute at a show, but, like, it wasn't practical, <laughs> no, definitely so wasn't. it just, like, Guys still loved us though, you know. We didn't give a shit though. We we're like, we're not, we're not here for you. We're here for the music. Leave us alone, you know. Yeah. So it really kind of, it, it was a great bond between us. 
How about uh, little by little, there seem to be girls kind of copying your style. <laughs> Did you yeah. guys notice that even? No, I mean, I, I, never, I never really took notice. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I know what you mean, but I wasn't sure if like that's what they were doing. Do you know what I mean? Like, you yeah, had fans. More power to them. If they did, hey, I'm glad, you know, you can rock Like I said, we don't really think about, I I don't operate like that. Like, I don't yeah, really I don't think either. about, like, what other people are thinking or doing. I don't think I'm why. up here. I'm here with everybody else, and you want to do it, do it. You know, I don't knock nobody down. I, put, I pick them up, you know. Like, we're all there for the same reason. You know, I'm no one to judge, you know. That's why I'm there. It's a judge-free zone, you know. And I love when I see girls out there, you know. It's like, come do it, you know. Like, anybody can do it, you know. Just feel do it music. for the right reasons, you know, because then there's some people who go and they just want to like look cool and they don't. But if you're doing it because like it's inside of you, you know. Uh, I think they're like a them. huge yeah. staple band of PA, you know, they even have the PA song. When you think PA song. hardcore or, you know, just recently, Wisdom has definitely been a big, big upbringing and a big inspiration, you know, I relate to a lot of their lyrics, you know. Definitely. Richie Crutch, I respect them like. 100 percent you know he's a good dude they're all good dudes joe's home all of them you know and it's nice that they're not a band that thinks they're like better than everybody else you know you go up to them they're very humble people you know they're they're just your family your family you know and yeah. i love them i love them all the woes it just it, it gives a feeling inside that i can't describe i can't yeah. zoo. The zoo we were just talking about that on the way down god we love that place yeah it was really high in there though but hey, we didn't care. Yeah. We were sweating anyway. The zoo, fun. definitely a metro, you know, that's where a lot of places I went. CC's, I went a couple times. You know, that's when I just started coming around the scene. So I didn't really go too often because I didn't drive either, but I've been there a couple times. Uh, definitely the underworld in Stroudsburg was like my main, my main like hangout spot. I would always go there and Big Walt, you know, definitely was a big part of that. And, you know, he made that shit happen there, put everything together. Church, I always remember the church. Yeah, church. It's hot in there too, though. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> but uh, there was a lot of good shows there, I remember. There was another place in Northeast Philly, I don't remember what it was called. Club HP. Yeah, oh, yeah, wow. Yeah. Dude, that's when you got freaking. I'm not even gonna say. I'm not even gonna say. I don't know. What hit? Oh, you got choked up by somebody. I'm not gonna say no names. Oh. Happens. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, Death Threat played that. Death Threat played that show. Oh, that's 13. right. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And Sub Zero. Now I remember what you're talking that about. That was a good time. I forgot about that. Yeah, well, it was it a good time. Phil, Phil B. Dank went with us. Um, I, for me, it like really like changed. I don't know where my life would have went at that time if I didn't like discover hardcore and the scene. Um, it really, for many years, like it saved, saved me from myself, from my demons. Like I was able, it's like an outlet for me. Um. I love the principles of of what the scene stands for, of what hardcore stands for. I was able to like really like uh, grab onto those, and um, like I said, like I was able to like use it as like an outlet. So you know, I focused so much on like hardcore and like going to shows and like bands and dancing. Like it kept me healthy, like because I didn't want to drink or do anything. I wanted to work out so I could like you know be at my best. So it really like was such a positive thing for me and uh, once I started to like back away a little bit like my life got very chaotic like it really kept me on like a really great track it was it was one of the best things that I you know I ever found in my life it really was uh, I basically went into the scene feeling very insecure self-conscious you know and didn't feel like I fit in anywhere you know it's just I always felt like the outcast no matter where I went and we just went to shows and I met people that like the same band as me, you know, then I, I started dancing, I hung out with dudes that dance, you know, and got respect from all of them and just, you know, people would always be like, you know, you're an inspiration for us being a girl out there, you know, and it made me feel good. It's like, wow, like for once, like I get complimented for something that I love to do and it makes other people want to do it. And I'm all about the unity. I love just being friends with everybody, being positive and, you know, I'm not a negative person. I can't deal with negativity. I can't deal with drama. And of course there's drama in the scene, but you try to stay away from it as much as possible, but it tends to happen, but as long as you just push through it and just keep the PMA, you know, it makes everything better. And it's definitely changed me for who for who I am. Like, I, I don't take anything for granted, you know. Everyone's got a different story in the scene. We all come from hardships, and 
we're all there for one reason, and I love it. And it's the unity. It's it's a family to me, and I'll never leave it. I never won't. You know, some things may keep you away for a while, jobs, money, but every time you go back, it feels like you never left because it, it's a family. And I love my scene. I love PA, and I give it all I got every show I go to. And I thank everyone that always gives their 100 percent band that play. I love it. I love it. What love was the PA. question? <laughs> You already answered it. Oh, I did? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs>